This is the Afternoon Buzz Rewind Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Thrash. Join me for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7, only on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz. What's your rewind? According to a new study, it's harder to lose weight right now than ever before. Because of all the sweet, seductive technology we have at our disposal. Things like Netflix and Hulu are keeping us on the couch, so we're moving around less. Uber and Lyft keep us from needing to walk. Grubhub and Postmates keep us from having to cook healthy meals. Even online shopping keeps us from having to go to the store and walk around. Basically, it all causes us to be lazier than ever, and that's a damn hard pattern to break out of. I mean, really. So what's the answer if you want to lose weight? Well, the researchers say your best bet is to talk to an expert like your doctor and get a realistic, slow, sustainable plan that works for your schedule. And I'll go ahead and add that it wouldn't hurt to get off your ass every now and then. 106.3 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. I'm tired of trying to meet cool girls at my fire dancing class. I just want a guy who will take me to dinner at the food trucks. Having a hard time finding someone with your same interests? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can try hipstermatch.com. I'm Seth and I've been growing my beard for three years. No trimming at all. Oh, and I dyed it red to match my favorite pair of skinny jeans. I'm Chloe and I make tiny hats, but not for your head. The reason that Hipster Match works is our ironic algorithm used to select your perfect hipster match. Do you want to go to the spoken word open mic in the park at midnight? Do I ever? I just wrote an acapella rap on my Etch-A-Sketch. And the Hipster Match photo uploader automatically Instagrams every picture so it looks like shit. I'm Clementine. Call me Clemmy. I like Johnny Cash and Salt and Peppa. I'm Dex. I have a dog named Moose and a tattoo of a tattoo. So if you like vinyl collections, drumming with friends, and ironic Phil Collins t-shirts dipped in patchouli, let's FaceTime. No, let's write letters on paper. <laughs> <laughs> let's listen to terrible music. On purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should try hipstermatch.com. A 40-year-old woman named Sharon Dobbins from Phoenix wanted her 16-year-old son to wake up early on Sunday to go to church for Easter. Or as she says, quote, I said, get up. It's Jesus's day. But when he wouldn't get out of bed, she tased him on the leg. He told her he was calling the cops and she told him, quote, you can call the police, UPS, DPS, whoever you want to call. She said while the police were on the phone, she told the dispatcher, you need to be with Jesus right now. When the cops got there, Sharon said she didn't tase her son. She just sparked the taser to wake him up. But he had two marks on his leg from where she zapped him, so she was arrested, and she spent 12 hours in jail on Easter before she got out. She's facing a charge of child abuse with intent to cause harm. But she thinks she'll be okay because, quote, I don't think I did anything wrong because you're supposed to put God first. I'm guessing that morning she asked herself, what would Jesus do? And then did the exact opposite. Stryker posted over on the website that the folks that own the drive-in theater out in Graham are looking to sell it. They posted on Facebook and in the post, they did say that they'll continue to operate it until somebody decides to buy the property They're even offering to help out in the transition period to make sure everything goes well. Uh, If you're serious about it, you can shoot them an email at Graham Drive-In, that's Graham Drive-In, all one word, at sbcglobal.net. Now, they're going to start showing uh, showing films sometime later on this month, so at some point they're going to open, but they don't know yet what weekend that is going to be. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. Facebook for dummies. Facebook is a social networking site, so you can share news no one cares about with friends you've never met. Here are some tips. Don't accept a friend request from your mom. Oh, hey, it's mom. Unless you want her to see all the pictures of you lap dancing drunk for Japanese businessmen last Halloween. Oh, dear. At some point, someone you don't give a crap about may send you a poke. poke. What they're saying is, please notice me. I am lonely and sad and drunk. If you're in a relationship hey. and it's not complicated, shut up. You, shut up. you are not in a relationship. When it's your birthday, hundreds of strangers will wish you happy birthday. Some guys may send you penis pics. <laughs> if you post an ultrasound of your unborn child, somebody will inappropriately comment, LOL, that's gross. Or, any idea who the father is? Or, did you check for downs? So instead, Instagram a hilarious photo of your cat. <laughs> Have fun Facebooking, but don't buy Facebook stock. This has been Facebook for Dummies. 
27-year-old guy was at a bar in Queensland, Australia last week, and he got into an argument with a 20-year-old guy. They started fighting, and the 20-year-old stabbed the 27-year-old guy in the back. But here's where it gets badass. Instead of going to the hospital, the guy ordered himself another beer while the knife was still sticking out of his back. And once he finished the beer, then he went to the hospital. Now he's doing fine in hell. He says he doesn't want to press charges against the guy who stabbed him. I don't care how hardcore you are. It is impossible to be more hardcore than that guy. That dude is officially my new hero. This past Tuesday, a lawsuit was filed against Big Daddy's wrecker. An Arizona couple broke down on Highway 82 between Sherman and Wichita Falls on August 22nd of last year. Turns out they had a broken radiator hose. Well, the couple contacted AAA, who contacted Big Daddy's and sent somebody out there. And according to the lawsuit, the vehicle used for the tow wasn't capable of handling an RV. They also claimed the driver wasn't qualified for the tow and wasn't able to secure the drive shaft. They say that the drive shaft not being properly secured ended up dragging along the pavement, causing sparks, making the tow truck pull over. Again, the plaintiffs attempted to help him secure the drive shaft properly. Eventually, he gave up and left the couple stranded again. So they called AAA again, and they sent out big daddies, this time with a different tow truck and a different driver. Now, they emphasized to the new driver that the drive shaft of the RV needed to be properly secured because they had already seen it drag and spark with the guy before. Well, once again, it wasn't properly secured, and again, sparks flew, this time causing a fire that destroyed the entire RV and everything inside of it. The plaintiffs allege Big Daddy's breached their duty to them by failing to properly inspect the RV, secure the drive shaft, and provide and use the necessary equipment to properly and safely tow the RV. The plaintiffs are seeking monetary relief between $200,000 and $1 million. You can get the full story at 1063thebuzz.com. 1063thebuzz presents Nonsense Minute. So what are you uh, studying in college? I'm studying the human genome. The what? The human genome. (laughs) They're called gnomes. They live under mushrooms. What? The G is silent. Even I know that. (laughs) They're like Smurfs. Are you stupid? Millions of people suffer from being a dumbass. Well, now there's help. Introducing books. (laughs) It's like Scoob backwards. Scooby snack. Books have words in them that say stuff. So you're saying if I get some bacon. Books. Books. They will help for me to know stuff more of? Yes, Yoda. No, I was doing Scooby-Doo. Scooby snack. Books. Uh, Maybe you should eat some books. Get one today. (gasps) There's more than one? A new survey asked Americans what they'd be willing to give up in exchange for a 10% pay raise. Now keep in mind that the average American salary is $52,000. So people would do this stuff for a $5,200 raise or roughly $140 more per paycheck after taxes. All right, 56% of people would work an extra 10 hours per week for life, and 50% would work six-day weeks for the next year. 40% would give up all dental care, and 19% would go with no health insurance. 35% would give up their right to vote for life, and 9% would give away their child's right to vote for life. 12% would break up with their significant other. And 5% would eat a Tide Pod. So in other words, 5% of the people surveyed were millennials. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. Tired of boring vacations where you just relax? Come to Mexico. I know, you keep hearing about all the drug wars going on, but hey, we're fighting over drugs. Haven't you ever gotten a fight over drugs? With your ex-girlfriend? Mexico has lots of great things to see. Have you ever seen dead people? It's pretty cool. I'm sure you might read a headline about the bloodbath at the car wash. But you weren't going to wash your car here anyway. So the next time you want adventure, come to Mexico. Just like the Old West, but now. And in Spanish, Mexico. Don't be a pollo. A man named Stephen Gayton was golfing in Merseyside, England on Monday when he noticed something um, unexpected going on at the ninth hole. There was a guy with his pants down having sex with the hole. But that wasn't all the guy was doing. He also got the hole's flagpole into the action. 
as Steven said, quote, he had his penis in the hole while he had the flag in his backside. Anyway, Steven pulled out his phone and started recording. And he wasn't the only one. The guy was also filming himself. Proof that if you spot any sort of opening, crevice, nook, cranny, crater, dent, vent, or divot in the world, there's a man who's tried to stick his junk in it. Hey, thanks for checking out the Afternoon Buzz Rewind podcast. Join me, Johnny Thrash, for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7 on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz.